Use that move, you do that to prove the front. Damn it! I just forgot the gas mask. Uh, uh, give me a minute. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, welcome back to a Fallout 76 video. My, Sorry, my gas mask was on. I completely forgot. You know, sometimes you fall asleep with a gas mask on. It's the wasteland, you know. You got those atomic storms. But, uh, welcome back, everyone, my weed gamers. Uh, welcome back to another 76 video. We're back. It, it hasn't been a while, but it's been a qu uh, quite a bit, a couple days since I've actually filmed one of these. And, you know, I really like doing these, uh, 76 videos. They're super fun. And, uh, we're pretty much, uh, we're pretty ahead. Not gonna lie, we're pretty ahead. We are, we just have to tune into the, uh, top of the world radio now. We have to go to the top of the world. I've been saving this quest. I didn't know when the right time to use it was, but, uh, apparently, looks like now's the time. Because the fire breathers are sending us to top of the world. So we might as well tune into the top of the world radio and see, uh, see what happens. So, uh, you know. We're actually gonna get up, and uh, I actually don't know where Forager is. I don't hear him. He hasn't interrupted me once yet, so I think we're gonna go look for him, and then we're gonna go tune into Top of the World. Forager, Forager, you here? Ah, oh, there you are. Glad you actually didn't interrupt me so far. So that's good. Uh, he's coming upstairs, so I don't know how much he, that's gonna last. Uh, if you guys look over here very quickly, I'm also experimenting with new methods on how to kill these raiders. Uh, so far, you know, putting around turrets and putting around some traps. Have proven somewhat effective, I guess. Uh, the, the main goal is for me to not waste uh, so much resources trying to repair the turrets so much. So, yeah, th this is pretty much my uh, one of my plans. Uh, we also have over here, it looks kind of ugly. I understand this is like a couple platforms and stuff. But it gets rid of like the tree debris going around here. Uh, I actually prefer having this over here than the trees because, you know, it's kind of hard to move around and stuff. This this gives the camp a little bit more of an open concept. I might build on this later. I might put some more... Pl oh, I actually did put fl platforming. I forgot about this. I put a bunch of platforming in the back here so I have more easily access or easy access to the back of my camp. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just easier. I'm trying to make this easier for me to move around, you know. Scenery is good, but, you know, you gotta destroy some of the scenery to actually have a functional camp. And, uh... That, that's what I've just been up to with the camp experiments lately. We also have a level up that I want to get out of the way, so why don't we look? Okay, so 5 Strength, 5 Charisma, 6 Intelligence. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dang, there's a lot we can do. I, I really still want to build up Charisma. We're very close to... Actually, what, what's wait, what's in uh, Intelligence? Because I know there's Crafting Workshop items now cost 25% less material. Uh, uh, there's not really a lot of great Intelligence. What's all? Uh, what about Charisma? I know there's not a lot of good Charisma cards either. But I need the charisma to be stacked up more. So, okay, what, what else? You know what? Get yeah, a hard bargain. I'll get more hard bargain. Because uh, these prices in West Virginia are so damn, like, it, they're so ridiculous that they, it's just, it's, it's, it's erratic. It's erratic. That's all. That's the only way I can describe it. There we go. I also got a perk. Uh, fully rank up one perk. So, I mean, that. Or I, I got an achievement. I fully ranked up one perk. That's also good. So, there's that. So, now... Now that that's done, I guess, we can start to tune into the Top of the World radio. Alright, here we are. Let's hear what the Top of the World has to say. If you hear me, the Top of the World, Pleasant Valley. If you hear me, I need help getting together so we can... If you think you... Look forward to meeting you. I need help getting together so we can... Call right... This is the... Okay, okay, we we heard the entire message there. So pretty much, sounds like someone needs help. There's a lot of static in there, but sounds like someone needs help at Top of the World Radio. Well, actually, well, what is the next quest line here? To go to the Top of the World, yeah. We also gotta go follow Madigan's trail to the Top of the World. So let's go see if we can find... I, it's not that far from our camp, but... Yeah, no, the Top of the World is right here. Follow Madigan's trail and go to the Top of the World. So, I'll see you guys, uh, at the top of the world, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think we just arrived at the top of the world, and I hear gunfire, so I'm trying to keep it on the down low, because, yeah, I think there's gunfire going down at that, uh, fair, at the end of that ferry. If I, is that the correct yeah, time for the ferry? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Don't be scared! I'm not a ghost! I'm talking you through the PA system! Okay. Hey, you can't get me on the radio, right? Hey, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, just kind so, of agree for me. I've got this radio operation I need to expand. Gotta boost this super weak signal. You know how it is. 
See, I found these plans for a radio signal repeater on a dead responder by Seneca Rocks. They were gonna patch it through that giant radio array on the other side of the mountain and use it to boost their radio. Was that responder dead when oh, you found yeah, it? Yeah, I don't have the plans. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> it didn't seem important at the time. Ugh, I'm kicking myself for not taking the schematic when I found it. I'd go oh, back and oh. get him, but who knows what sort of rotten low life would ransack this okay. place while I'm gone. Okay, I need you to find the plans, build the repeater, and patch it into the array following their notes. Easy peasy, right? Uh, I'll take the rest uh, from there. Uh, we'll be in business. Rose and, uh, whatever your name is. Oh, uh, okay. So I guess this chick is telling us that she if she's not gonna let us in until we get the schematic that she found on a dead responder which, but apparently we have to go find the schematics and you know your boy is a sucker for plans i really like collecting plans in this game so we can just go collect the plans and see if rose can let us in so where where are these plans all right she said the plans where i think at, i'm not sure if she said ski resort but they're quite a bit of ways from top of the world so you know time for time for one of my long cuts all right guys by the looks of it we have just kind of arrived i guess i i thought i heard her say it was a ski resort i guess it wasn't so looks like we have to kind of work our way down this mountain and uh try to get down to the buildings where apparently there are plans for a signal repeater for that rose needs so i, I guess we're just gonna go in, look around the buildings uh apparently she said it was inside a dead responder as well so we're, we're looking for a pretty much a responder corpse, but when are we not looking for a responder corpse in this game? <laughs> I mean, geez, there's just so, there's so many dead responders around this. It's not uh, around this game. It's not even funny. <laughs> but okay, so where where is this responder corpse? Uh, she said it was somewhere down. Oh, oh, it's in a hotel district. I'm guessing. Is this a hotel or a motel? I don't know. Hello there, Scorch. Oh, you're my level. Well, uh, that sucks. Cause uh, you should probably, if you were a little bit stronger, you might have lived. Oh, hello. Oh, you got friends. You got friends. Oh, too bad, uh, too bad, uh, gun beats knife in this case. Oh, what, what, where else? Oh, okay. Now, now we're starting. To get Wait, do I have grenades? Do I have grenades? I do not have grenades on me right now. All right, looks like we're just going to clear out the scorch and, uh, you know, just go see. Okay, all right. All right, pal. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Damn. Shotguns are the best. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, back up, back up, pal. Back up. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, no, no, get that. Oh, holy shit. What the... F oh, shit! What the hell is this? Oh, my gosh, this is actually killing me right now. Oh, what What the hell is that? Oh, well, what the What the heck is this? What does it say? Disease honeybees? Oh, my gosh. I've, I, oh, I've never seen anything more scary in this game in my life. What the fuck is this? Oh, got scorched. Fuck off. I'm trying to, and I'm trying to look at what the hell I just killed. Damn. Ooh, a red rocket. I've been seeing a lot of these so far around the wasteland. This thing, this franchise was pretty popular. Not gonna lie. Would like to be part of the business model. Holy, what? Oh my gosh. This I have never seen this in my life, and it just it scared the living daylights out of me. I'm not even lying. I I did. I it just walked up on me, and I just turned and I saw that. Holy. Oh. Up. There's one less of those things now in the wasteland. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? Okay. So what's this? Signal repeater notes and signal. Okay. So hold on. Let's read the notes. The schematic sh should be pretty self-explanatory. Even to someone without any experience with electronics, needs needs specialized parts. SMU 97 transponder, 98 NAR regional manifest suggests part of my part may be present. Re Recon A A39 duplexer airplane rack now part of Horizons. Rest the arrays a government facility so that so they had some pretty weird equipment specs. If you can't find the parts, we'll have to find out who made them and who knows if these facilities exist anymore. Cross your fingers. Oh, I, I think I oh dang. Hold on. Let me let me read the rest of it. I think I accidentally took it and didn't read. Hold on. Alright. Once assembled, the repeater module can be inserted into any array auxiliary slot, but you'll need to divert power to it through the array control system. So I guess that's the kind of instruction manual to this. Okay. The signal repeater schematics. Uh, we'll take that. And is there a body down here that was telling us something? What was? What was? Was there not? Search for the RCX01 A39 duplexer and search for the SMU97 transponder. So wait, are those are those around here? Oh no, they're wait, there. There's the RCX01. 
where is the other? Oh, it's in the... Okay, so Horizon's Rest. Oh, so we've been at Horizon's Rest. We can fast travel there. So then I guess we have to go back. Oh, at least it's by our camp. That's a good thing. So we're going to have to go look for these uh, two parts to actually build the transponder. So I guess we'll, we'll start off at Horizon's Rest. Oh, whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a, a plane at rest here. I guess the name of this plane might have been Horizon. I don't know. I don't know where this name comes from, but uh, this place looks dope. Ooh, a Backwoodsman 4. I'll take that. Definitely something else for me to read at the camp. Well, what is here? Okay, we got we got to look for the transponder. So, or not the transponder, the parts for it. So the here. Oh no, it is a transponder. Uh, the SMU 97 transponder and some circuits. I can actually use circuits on my camp and some boiled water. So I guess we got the transponder from this half plane. I'm assuming the other half is somewhere down there. So then uh, I guess we just got to go find the duplexer now. Alright, we are fast approaching the duplexer, and it looks like it's in an abandoned uh, rail railway graveyard, or rail graveyard, I don't know what the proper name for it is. Uh, oof, wow, why do I feel like, I, I feel like I'm having deja vu right now. I feel like I've been here before. I mean, I've explored the wasteland, oh, 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 that is, that is a sentry bot, that is a sentry bot, and he's angry. Oh. Oh, I now know it's deja vu. I remember I skipped this area because there was a sentry box. Okay, well, looks like it can't be the case right now, so... Alright. Well, I mean, the bright side about that, good chance we're probably gonna get a fusion core. Is he gonna blow up? I guess not. Uh, fusion cells, right away, circuits. Wow, he's a lot. But apparently no fusion core. Hello? Anyone else here? Oh, ooh. Yep, no, he did blow up. He did blow up. Hello, iBot. I guess, I guess we, we're lucky we looted fast. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, dang. Where, where, where is this dude? Okay, it's, it's on the other side of this uh, train car, so there has to be a way around it very quickly. Oh, hold on. Oh, we're actually, we don't have any fusion cell ammo. Dang. Uh, all right, we're probably going to have to switch to the, back to the shotgun. Uh, where, okay, yeah, right here, right here. This is where we can uh, cross. Uh... Is there any? Because I heard another robot. Was it like a mix, Mr. Gutsy or something? Uh, I don't see him now, so I guess we're good. All we just gotta do is get the duplexer, and uh, we can build this... Was it? It was a transponder? Responder? Oh, hello, Mr. Gutsy! Uh, yeah, this, I don't care right now about Uncle Sam, but uh, I think you should probably go see a nurse, because you have a lot of bullets in you. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Search for the duplexer. Oh no, so, uh, not search for the duplexer. Circuitry panel has the duplexer. Okay, so we take that. We also got some extra circuits. Always like some circuitry, because that stuff is actually... I've been having trouble getting that stuff lately. That and lead, but you know, that's just stuff for me to do off camera. So now that we've gotten both the duplexer and the responder, transponder, I don't know what we're building and what part we have. So, okay, we just gotta go back to the camp and actually build it. And first, I'm gonna have to go deal with the rest of the Mr. Gutsy. So I'll see you guys back at the camp. Hello there, sir! We've arrived back at our camp now to build the actual transponder part. So we got oh, it's at the Tinker Works. It's at the Tinker's workbench. I thought it would be at the um somewhere at the chemistry workbench or something. But I guess Tinker's kind of makes sense. So uh, okay, well, well, can we craft it? Can we craft this uh, transponder? Is is that what it's called? I feel like it's called a transponder. No, it's a signal repeater. That's what it was. A transponder and a duplexer making a signal repeater. That's what. It okay. So now we got this. Now. We can give this to Rose in exchange so she can let us in and now we can talk about this Madison guy that was there and actually talk about uh we can actually talk about uh what's going on there. So a little misstep on my end. Uh I, I did not look at the uh objective and I forgot we actually have to install this in a uh, radio tower or uh, in one of the uh satellite dishes over here and uh, I do oh there's a super mutant there. Well we've killed enough super mutants, let's just uh, kinda run past him and see okay. Right here, there it is. Install signal repeater. There we go. Relay, it's called radio relay access point. Okay, so we've installed that. Divert, divert power to the repeater. So now we got... Oh, now we actually do have to kill this. We have to go kill the super mutant. Uh, hello there, sir. You know, I mean, would you politely get out of my way? Uh, are you? Huh? Oh, no. He's still shooting at me? All right. I shoot back. I shoot back. You happy that you shot at me now? You happy? Look where that got you. Uh, okay. Oh, ooh, a desk fan. Nice. Alright, uh, array control terminal. Alright, let's see. Can we divert power? Hmm? Uh, array, array status. 
Uh, unknown signal repeater component unpowered. Okay, so we just gotta power it. Auxiliary component control. Divert power to auxiliary. Warning, if you have not been authorized to make adjust adjustments to the system or this its components, please remain system. where you are. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna shut up, let bros talk. What? Oh. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. oh, maybe I should have <laughs> thought about this a little bit more. Full disclosure, I didn't think you'd succeed at getting my signal working. Oh, wow, thanks so for the confidence, Booster. I was just gonna kill you and take your stuff when you came back. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, okay. It'd be a real big move for me to do then now. Look, I'm what you people would call a raider. Killing, stealing, and cheating is oh. kind of my shtick. Mm. And thanks to you, I've got a working radio. Huh. So I can reach other like-minded individuals and get them to join me. Did not you think this through. The floodgates. Did not think this through. Hey, come see me at the top of the world when you get the chance. I've got something for ya. And I pinky swear I won't kill ya. Well, uh, we might uh, we we might have done a little bit of a whoopsie. Oh, we're back at top of the world, and I may have maybe screwed up quite a bit if I just gave a raider access to the uh, to the entire radio station or to a radio station going around Appalachia. But uh, before we even talk to her, uh, there's also an overseer's log here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, listen to this before we go up to talk to Rose and see how badly we might have screwed up. Overseer's Log, top of the world. There's someone in control of this old ski resort, and if I ever find her, I'm gonna wash her mouth out with the first thing vaguely resembling soap I can get my hands on. Oh. Selfish. That's the word. Maybe that's why she's alone. Maybe that's why she survived. But the only way she'll tell me what she knows is if I help her first. All the good people I've learned about who've died, and it's the sociopath who still gets to live. Well, um, uh, that that certainly doesn't help our case. Sounds like the overseer didn't even like her when she first met her. So, uh, this this is going to be an interesting conversation. <laughs> so this is the top of the deck of the oh, of the uh, what's it? Oh, that's a vertebrate up close. So this is the top part of the top of the world. So this is like pretty much the what, what is this called? The yeah, just the top part of the top of the world, I guess. Not the roof, but all right. So wow, there's a lot of dead raiders here. If she was a raider, she was not a uh, team player, that's for sure. Okay, sliding door. Uh, oh, oh, she's a she's a Mr. Handy, or is, is that a Mr. Handy, or is it like a Miss Nanny in this? Game? I forgot what the exact interpretation of it. There's also a comic here. I'm gonna just uh, yoink. You know, uh, you pretty much owe me for this. Uh, hello there. Uh, well, this is a little awkward. Not what either one of us expected, eh? Anyway, to prove I'm not a monster, I scrounged up some old junk to give you as a reward. You scrounged up some junk to give to me as a reward. That, that that's that's nice. Thank thank you for telling me that. Uh, okay, so we at least completed the top of the world mission. So, uh, what well, we got? Uh, some items. What well, we got? Just oh oh. Hoo! Ooh, we got some pot. We got some good plants and stuff. So, all right. So, okay, we we did that. Uh, oh, there's a player down here. I kind of want this. I, I just kind of saw that at the corner of my eye. Uh, we we're here for a difference. We're here for a difference. Oh, that's a hollow tape. We'll play that after we talk to Rose. We'll play that after we talk to Rose. So, firstly, firstly, we gotta talk to her. Uh, well, how's it going, Rose? How's oh, it? hey, uh, I have something to say to you. Now, what was it? Uh... Ah, right. Oh, wanna help me out again? Uh, I, uh, how about how about you tell me a little bit more before you uh, send me on any more missions? Because last time, the first mission you sent me on, I pretty much gave you access to the entire like the entirety of Apple Issues Radio. So, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Why why should I help you? You almost backstabbed me. Almost. I almost backstabbed you, but clearly I didn't, or you'd be dead. Oh, oh you, is, you would have tried. That's stronger for it because of me. Did I even get a thank you for that? No. Not gonna lie, kind of like her. Kind of like her. She's kind of a little bit, a little bit annoying. But I, I like her spunk. Alright, tell me about the old raiders, like the dead ones, and why there's like corpses around here. 
Hmm? My kind of people. We were hardcore. The originals. Not these wannabes and losers who refused to join up with me. We split into five gangs. Cutthroats, trappers, diehards, blackwater bandits, and the gourmands. Each one was special in their own way. Except for the diehards. They were a bunch of boring losers. Alright, so it sounds like there's a bunch of raider factions out there. Alright, alright. Uh, I, I will say this. You are one delightfully murderous, murderous little robot. A robot? Oh, wait, I knew that. <laughs> anyway, you say this. Oh, yeah, thing. definitely. This chick seems nice. Plus, you got that whole one person army thing going for you. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, she's found my weakness, my ego. So, okay. Alright, uh, alright, I'm, I'm game. I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll stick with you until, uh, you start to. You start to make me mad, or you start to cause more trouble. But I'll see. What, what do you need so help with? So the old bands of raiders each have their own, like, pet projects or whatever. You know, to be all special. If I'm ever going to rebuild a raider army, I need to figure out which of these crazy tactics actually work. We both win. I get answers, and you get a new toolbox full of scary things you can use to terrify your enemies and gross out your friends. Alright, well, uh, hmm. Oh, what would... Well, you know, tell me about these tactics. We'll start with my personal favorite. Karma. No, not that New Age bullshit. I'm talking about a chem that hits hard but leaves you real. Oh, a new chem. Oh, my cutthroat friends good. figured out a way to weaponize it. Alright. I'm gonna link you my old syringe. Oh! I'm gonna modify it to shoot carbon darts. I mean, <laughs> new weapon, I'll take that. Just bring it back. Uh, oh, you can try. Not you joking. can try. I really will. Ah, and I really will fight back. Don't tempt me. All right, so okay, so we got that. That's flavors of mayhem. You know, we got that uh, quest going for us. Uh, wait, is this? Oh, it's a main quest too. That's also silly. But uh, we're here to also follow Madigan's trail. So wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is uh. Oh, uh, Rose, I'm gonna have a talk with you in a second, so, uh, how about we go investigate first? Oh, I see now. You're here about that guy. Yeah. Huh? Well, good luck getting anything out of him. He's hmm. been dead a while. Uh, what happened to Madigan? How about you tell me what happened to him? He came up here to negotiate with my raider associates. They strung him up and left him to die after convincing him to spill the beans about what he was oh, up to. Oh, that's not Before good. Before you ask, I don't know. I wasn't there. Alright, so you're clear for this. I don't know about the rest, but you're kind of clear for this, so I won't blame you. And, uh, you're just keeping him in a cage up here? I put him there. That was the previous tenants. They were real slobs. You know, I can't uh. <laughs> find a maid service, but who has the time, right? I... You say they're slobs, their dead bodies are still here, so I think the only slob here is you, uh, Rose. So Madigan found something. He, he said it was a game changer. What was it? Who knows what goes through their dopey responder brains? Can you imagine going through life 100% chem-free? Uh, I mean, I can't really anyway, negotiate there. I do use for that out. scorch detector uplink thingamajiggy he was trying to install when they caught him. Oh, it's a scorch detector uplink? Seems real handy. I know where it is, but I'm not ready to talk. Ah. Uh, but maybe if you help me out, I'll trust you. All right, me. all right. You want to play this game? You want to play this game, or else I can play this game. Uh, yeah. So I guess we're gonna actually have to complete Rose's quest and get this Karma Syringer going, and actually go ahead and figure this out. But it looks like we found another dead responder corpse. I feel like we can't go a video without finding another dead responder. But I guess, uh, damn. Alright, so we uh, we heard Rose, we heard what happened to Madigan. Well, what's this story? Rosalind and David's ski trip. Hey, turn it off. You want my wife to find out about us? Oh. oh come yeah. on. Wow. I want to make a recording of us. You said you were going to ditch that old hag when we got back anyway. Oh. <laughs> Fine, but it goes with you when we leave. You need to promise to destroy it if word ever gets out about us. I have too much to lose in a divorce, and leaving evidence like that laying around will only make it worse. Aw, don't be an old stick in the mud. No one's gonna find out. Wait, wait a second. Pinky swear. Wait a second. Uh, hey, you got any more of those chems with you? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, what do you want? Day tripper? Help yourself. Uh, just don't take too much. Don't, uh, get addicted. Yes, sir. Input received, sir. Awaiting orders. What? What? What <laughs> okay, the? Okay, I get it. You're not a robot. I know you don't like it when I order you around like that. Oh. You're my darling Rose. I just don't want anything bad to happen to you. Oh, baby. You're going all soft on me now. <laughs> you know I love ya. Mwah! Hey, do you want to hit the slopes? Or do you maybe have something else in mind? <laughs> All right, you little minx. Now, you really have to turn off the recorder. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so so let's break that down for a second. Let's break that down for a second. So in the beginning, I didn't assume anything. It was like it was Rosalind and I think David. Rosalind and David, okay? So, okay, okay. Uh, it took me a second, but I was like, why does that voice sound familiar? That voice sounds a little familiar. And then as soon as I, like, re then I, I just hit me like a goddamn dump truck. That's Ro that's Rose. That's this Rose right here. That is Rose talking on the, on the recorder. And, uh, not gonna lie. It, it sounds like, uh, she was, uh, pretty much, uh, sleeping with a guy who was cheating on his wife. And, uh, apparently, Rose was not a robot. She was not a Mr. Handy or Miss Nanny or whatever. She was, uh, I'm assuming human. And, uh, I know this because, like, uh, they pretty much acknowledged she wasn't a robot. Like, she wasn't a robot and wasn't no sarcastic. It was like, yeah, she's not a robot. And she took chems. She took chems. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't think robots can take chems and, like, feel the effects, so I don't see the point in it. But, that, that, that was clearly Rose. That was clearly a Rose with a actual human body. And what the okay you rose you we are going to do a deep dive on you we are going to do a deep dive on you i'm gonna be looking for more hollow tapes like that around the wasteland because you 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 got some you got some shit i'm gonna have to talk to you about later on but uh well right now we gotta go end this video but i'm not, I'm not done with you yet i'm not done with you yet holy crap i'll be keeping an eye on you from up here I can see just about anything with my robot eyes from these viewfinders. And lucky you, since you helped me tap into the emergency broadcast system, you can hear my lovely voice from anywhere. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I just kind of shut up there because as soon as I spawned into my camp, uh, Rose just kind of started talking to me. So apparently now she can talk to us wherever through our pit boy using the radio station. So, uh... Yeah, your, your boy's probably gonna be locking his pit boy in uh in the nightstand before he goes to sleep at night. So, cause that that's definitely not something I need to wake up and hear in the morning. So, ah, oh, gosh, what did I, what have I done? Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, we we might have screwed up big here, giving a a raider robot or raider Mr. Handy uh access to Appalachia's radio, and now she can pretty much tap into our pit boy. And talk to us there. And, uh, well, so far, Rose is, uh, Rose is kind of looking like a sketchy character. So we might have to keep an eye on her, try to dig up what we can, see where she came from. Because now, the fact being that she used to be human is, uh, well, that's quite interesting, not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna have to do a bunch of research and try to figure out what, what, like, what exactly Rose is. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope I made your day a little bit better, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!